Konnichiwa Minisan. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome. And today I'll be reacting to how Japanese people eat ramen noodles. But before I get started, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's check this out together. Hello everyone, I'm Kosuke. I'm in front of ramen restaurant Ichiran. Today I'm gonna show you how Japanese people enjoy ramen noodle. Let's go! At Ichiran, when you enter the restaurant, ticket machine is waiting for you. You can see the menu in Japanese, English, Chinese and Korean. I'm gonna order basic ramen, additional chashu pork for topping, and half boiled egg. You can order later again if you forget something for now. Ichiran used to accept only cash before, but now we can pay by card as well. Let's see how the entire restaurant looks like. Each table is divided by the screens. This screen is flexible, you can remove it if you come with your family or friends. Just for your information, some Ichiran restaurants are famous for plenty of toilet rolls. Okay, I will take the table in the corner. There is a paper slip on the table. You can choose your preference, for example, the noodle texture, the amount of garlic, green onion, chashu pork, and how spicy it is. When you're ready to order, press the button. At Ichiran, you don't need to speak any word. You can tell your request by showing these plates, but I've never used this. It's noisy. I'm leaving my seat for a moment. I do like a kid's bowl and utensils. I don't know the ordering process. Let's briefly talk about ramen and ichiban. In Japan, we have various types of ramen. It depends on regions. For example, ichiban is from Fukuoka. Fukuoka is the most famous city for tonkotsu ramen, pork broth. I am from Nagasaki, Kyushu area, the same with Fukuoka. For me, Naturally, tonkotsu ramen is my ramen. But if you ask somebody from Hokkaido, Sapporo for example, they would say miso ramen is their standard. Some of you might be thinking, does Ichiran divide the tables for social distancing because of the pandemic? No, Ichiran's this style has nothing to do with the pandemic. Ichiran has been doing this from a long time ago. This is called eating concentration table. They wish customers can focus on eating Ichiran ramen without any distractions. Okay, looks like my ramen is coming. Look at this shining ramen, gorgeous. I just realized I wanted to have more toppings. I should hurry up. I've got to eat ramen while it's fresh. Thank you. 
ます。失礼します。お待たせいたしました。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。Did you recognize this sound? Cha la 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 la, cha la 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 la. This sound is a ramen sound. All Japanese people can associate this sound with street ramen shops. I recommend you finish preparing the egg before food comes because it takes time to peel off. Okay, perfect. This is a char siu pork. Ichiran's original spicy red sauce, green onion, hard boiled eggs, kikurage mushroom. I didn't even know this is a mushroom until I translated into English. Finally, time to eat. Yes, Ichiran's tonkotsu ramen is amazing. As you may have noticed, I am slurping noodles. This is the way Japanese people eat noodles. I wonder if people in other Asian countries do the same way. I used to live in England before, so I can eat ramen without making noise. I know this sound can be uncomfortable, especially for Western people. But we have the opposite impression. The slapping noise makes us feel the noodles delicious. Oh, half boiled egg are really nice. We are enjoying the noodles' textures as well as its taste. If you bite noodles instead of slapping, that means you missed the opportunity to enjoy the noodles' textures. We slap noodles to fully enjoy ramen. This is seaweed. If you watch Japanese anime or TV commercials, for example, they always have noodle slapping sounds because it's good for us. When I eat noodles in foreign countries or with people from abroad, I try not to slap noodles because it can be annoying for them. But this channel's concept is real Japan. Today I just show you how Japanese people normally do. I feel like my stomach has room for kaidama. Kaidama is additional noodle. This is half sized additional noodle. I hear many foreign languages in the restaurant. I suppose each one is already popular with tourists. When you finish the ramen, you can see a message at the bottom of the bowl. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye. This is beautiful. I really want to taste Japanese noodles, guys. This really look delicious. Every culture has their own style. And I think this is so beautiful. Japanese is such a great country. I really love their culture. And Japanese people, they are so calm and polite, guys. This is really, really beautiful.
beautiful guys so that's it for this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel like share and drop your recommendations see you guys bye